Silence has always been a protection first data science company with a mission of protecting everyone under the sun. In this video, I'm going to show how our data science team has now added the power of machine learning to the behavioral space. So from the team that brought you predictive pre-execution prevention on the AV side, let's go see what data science can do on the EDR side with a prevention first use of the ML threat detection modules. For the purpose of this demo, we have two machines, one in an alert only posture where we've got the ML threat detection modules enabled with desktop notifications checked, but no response actions enabled. On the second system, we have a different policy where it's only the ML threat detection modules enabled, but as you can see over here on the right, the response action is set to terminate processes. When we look at our Windows 7 demo VMs, we have the alert only posture with a green background and the protection first posture with a gray background. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to leverage a threat that I've used in the past. It drops a file that Silence Protect would convict. It also leverages script control protections, but we have those disabled. And the purpose of that is so that we can demo the full strength and power of the ML threat detection modules. The use case of this threat is your common everyday phishing attack. So here we have an email from a trusted person, sense of urgency, a word attachment. This is a weaponized word attachment. As all good users, we're going to follow the commands from Microsoft to enable editing and enable content when presented with that. But what we're going to watch for is, in the background, the process monitor. And we'll see the activity that the user would have been blind to because they don't usually have this tool open to see what's really happening in the background. And as you can see, there are many commands, processes executing, and also here on the right are silence optics. We are in alert mode, so the ML threat detection modules are going crazy with all the different aspects of this threat. Uh, that we're detecting. Let's take a high level look, thanks to VMRay for the description of Hanacor, and see what this process was really doing in the background. Many of the things that we're running were unloading the firewall, disabling all the rules, re-enabling the firewall, as well as in the end, finally deleting the shadow copy. So how fast would a traditional EDR need to detect, respond, to keep a threat like this from continuing to have negative impact on the environment. Thanks to the power of Optics CAE, the ML threat detection modules have lots of opportunities to be a preventative on-device solution. So let's take a look at this in the protection first EDR posture. Here we're on our device with our response actions into the Word document that we ran earlier. And we're going to continue to be a good user and enable our editing and enable our content. Keep an eye in the bottom left again as we did in our alert only posture. And let's see how many events actually occur as a result of our enabling content. Convincingly EXE is the malware that's dropped from this threat. You see that silence has jumped in right away and, and prevented any other execution. The power of these ML modules is really enhanced by the underlying architecture with CAE and the response actions, allowing the system to protect itself and take advantage of the power of ML over signatures in this area of security. For those of you with experience writing signatures or pattern matching, you understand how easily it is to end up with a situation where what you had written is no longer valid. Without the Optic CAE architecture and the power of ML, our threat researchers would be tasked with creating rule after rule, attempting to detect every threat under the sun. In this case, we have an obfuscated command taking advantage of CertUtil, a common utility that's shipped on all Windows versions. You probably already noticed the desktop notification that Optics and Alert Only has detected something that it didn't like. But here we take CertUtil online download a Kovtar variant, and execute it. The obfuscation really makes this difficult to detect by traditional methods. But due to the CAE architecture, 
having access to 6,000 different art artifacts within the system and using the ML threat detection modules, we're able to detect them quite easily. Here, let's go see them in action with the prevention first. With our process termination response actions enabled, we'll copy and paste this into the command window and see how far it gets. Remember last time it went online, downloaded Kavtar, and off it went. This time, a response action has taken care of the threat before it's gone online, killed the process, and you can see our detection here in the right-hand corner. Thanks to the data science team and the product team for helping us continue on our mission of protecting everyone under the sun.